what up? Uh, I didn't know if this was going to be a video that I was actually going to make or not. Uh, generally, I don't get into these types of topics, but I figured eh, it might be something new for me to uh, discuss on the channel. So, as you know, the PS5 has been revealed, and the Xbox Series X are going to be coming out more towards the holiday seasons. Uh, the real question is, what am I going to be picking up? Welcome to Dell's Corner. Let's discuss this. What console am I going to be getting when it releases? See, I've had PlayStation since the day that they started dropping their consoles. I mean, PS1, PS2, PS3, uh, and of course PS4. Uh, I, I even owned a Vita for a little bit. Um, they're a portable device. But the one thing about PlayStation growing up was their games. Um, I didn't get back into PlayStation until Xbox 360 started to slowly die. And then I decided why not pick up a PS3. Uh, from there on it was it was history. Uh, I was back into gaming. I was ready to see what type of games were out. But I had been missing all those years when I, 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 you know, when I stopped with PlayStation in general. And it amazed me on what type of games they had created since I had started back up. Around Xbox 360 time, I didn't really buy games. I had the Xbox 360, I had some exclusives, I had some Halos. Uh, but again, I didn't really have any reason to be getting any other games. So I actually stopped gaming for about a couple years. And then I ended up buying a PS3. And the first game that I bought with the PS3 was Uncharted 2. I never played the first one. Well, at the time, I never played the first one. And two, you can just kind of just jump right into it. I actually loved Uncharted 2. And uh, the one thing about uh, Uncharted was, was the story. Um, I wasn't that Modern Warfare player anymore that I used to be. Um, I wasn't really interested in shooters. I enjoyed more story-driven games than anything else when I came back into the gaming scene. And here we are in 2020. I have the PS4 Pro. I had the original PS4. I think I still have it. And the new consoles are about to drop. And as a streamer now, considering I switched over to, to PC gaming, as a streamer, as a content creator, as a gaming in you know um, enthusiast, not influencer enthusiast. Yeah, I'm right. It's about content. If if a gaming company can bring me content, I will 100% always go that route. Xbox One S. I actually have an Xbox One. Um, I never play it. I bought it just because of Halo. I bought some other games in between, but it, it just did not thrive. Like, micro, I felt like Microsoft was slacking on their games department. I wanted exclusives. Like... Fortnite at the time, like when I used to play Fortnite when it first came out, you know, it was on any platform. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I'll be able to play a Halo and Gears and I'll be able to uh, uh, <coughs> play Fortnite, I guess, you know. But I didn't really have anything else to go on until I got, you know, until PS4 started 
really pushing their exclusives you know or ps3 at the time really started pushing their exclusives and then here we are ps4 still years years and years and years each and every year that passed by they kept on coming out with a different game a different exclusive specifically for just them you know and, and nobody was beating it like nobody could come out and and beat it like the nintendo N nintendo wii was just a bust uh X, like i said microsoft i just felt like they were just not listening to their fans they were focusing on pc stuff um and i'll get into that about a, in a minute but whenever i would talk about playstation i could just immediately talk about their exclusives there's they have endless exclusives not not only do they have endless amount of games right but these games bring amazing stories to the table um you got uncharted you got and that's three installments technically four if you choose uh, if you get the lost legacy uh you have infamous first light uh ratchet and clank second you know um infamous second son infamous in general there i believe there was two three installments of infamous um bloodborne you had the last guardian you have shadow of colossus um and god of, you know god of war i believe he, i don't think he was on that xbox but i do know that the current god of war was strictly on the playstation and of course their biggest title in 2013 when it dropped was the last of us and a year later the last of us remastered you can just keep going and going and going and talking about their games and what brings you back what brings you to buy their games that they have developed and pushed out from these people from these creators it's absolutely amazing and and again that's why i would choose playstation over xbox any day just because of content they release so many games that we love that we love to play that we love to turn on that we want to just progress in the story that we want to stream that we want to be able to show other people hey this this thing exists it's marvel spider-man that was another one and with the ps5 coming out i saw the xbox one release i wasn't impressed uh no exclusives maybe one two oh halo infinite another gear like i'm tired i'm tired of the same old sandwich every week but again it's content bring me something to the table i mean for you to get an xbox you might as well just go and buy a pc um because if you get the xbox game pass basically all the a handful of the brand new games are already coming out they're automatically putting it to the game pass if you buy the game pass for i think it's just for the console it's 9.99 a month but if you spend 14.99 a month if i i think that's the price 14.99 a month or 19.99 a month you can actually get it also be able to play it on the pc um minecraft Dun dungeons just released not too long ago and i bought it for the pc but it turns out you can buy it for the xbox um for the it's on the xbox game pass i paid 19.99 for the game and now you can play it if you want to if it's on the xbox game pass um gears of war 5 xbox game pass um they're just transitioning a lot of their stuff over to a pc setting when their fan base their loyal fan base is asking for games i mean within the year alone xbox has only sold anywhere between 50 to 60 million units as a whole okay since it's been out Compared to the life, the 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 lifespan of the PlayStation, 
is over a hundred million units. I mean, do the math. Why do you think they're switching over? Because you're not giving your fan base what they're asking for. I would definitely be more interested in Xbox and Microsoft if they gave me some damn games. There's nothing. If I if I I have that Xbox sitting in the other room in a bag right now. Never turn on the damn thing. Um for a PS4, I don't know what the plans are for the PS5 and if they continue to do it, that would be amazing. But let me give you a, another example of why I would a reason why I would choose PlayStation over Xbox. PlayStation if you have PlayStation, if you have a PlayStation 4 right now and you don't have an Xbox, right? But if you have a PlayStation 4 right now, any free to play games you're able to download and you're able to literally play them without having PlayStation Live. You do not need to pay for the monthly subscription for you to be online to play with your friends online to go through your dashboard online. You don't have to do none of that. If you don't want to pay for their membership, their their subscription service for you to be able to play online. The free to play games, Fortnite, Paladins, uh, Apex, the, you know, those types of games that you can easily download are literally free to play. I can turn on, I don't, I'm, I just, I didn't renew my subscription this month, right? I actually, I paid for the year, but I didn't pay for the year again. I can go turn on Apex right now. Because it's a free-to-play game. As long as I have internet access, I'm able to do that. You can't do that with Xbox. Xbox wants you to be connected to Xbox Gold. Or the, the Gold. Yeah. I think that's what it's called. It's been a very long time. But the, the Gold staff here. You, you, your Gold subscription. Uh, you cannot play shit if you don't have the Gold. If I remember correctly, you can play Netflix, Hulu, like your streaming services... But as far as playing any games that uh, that require internet access, whether they say it's free to play or not, you still need gold. So if you're trying to play Apex and you're not paying for a gold membership, uh -uh, can't do it. You want to play Fortnite? Uh -uh, can't do it. Paladins, which I think is on there, uh -uh, can't do it because it requires you to have internet act the gold membership requires you to have internet access to play anything it's ridiculous that's another reason why i stick with playstation they they just give you a more bang for your buck if you really wanted to save money um the controller, I love the I love the feel of the controller. You know, I've always said this. I've always told people this that PlayStation is the Android of phone. Is the Android of consoles. And the hell? Sorry. And wait, what is that? Alright, sorry about that. Technical difficulties. Uh but and Xbox is the Apple of consoles because they always want you to pay. Like, all the time. They will find any way possible to make you pay. Now, if the PS5 is still the same, great. Dope. I will congratulate them all day long. Um, if not, it is what it is. I mean, at least they let us have free access to free-to-play games truly free to play games this whole time since they've actually changed it up uh another thing if you're wanting to stream your games to your pc okay if you didn't know that you could do this you know now currently the ps4 there's something called ps4 share if you don't know what that does it takes the display of your console of the playstation and it transmits it to your PC. As long as you have the specific PS4 remote play 
application downloaded onto your PC. You don't need a gra you don't need a graphics not a graphics card. Uh, you don't need an Elgato to be able to transmit the the display. It just does it on its own. It it literally transmits the display over to the monitor itself. Um, it projects it. You don't need extra hookups. It's that easy. It's been reliable. I've been using it this whole time. Been very reliable. Um, the, I, and I can just keep on coming up with reasons. Um, that doesn't mean that I dislike Xbox. Okay. Their hardware, their hardware is amazing. I give me more because all I really have to do is pay your $9.99 subscription or your $14.99 subscription for PC play. And I'll just be able to play all those other games on my PC. Even at that, the list on that Xbox play is not that great. It's not that great at all for the past. But as a whole, uh, PlayStation 5 had brought up their game. They they came in. They revealed their PlayStation, their their console. Um, I'm not too hype about the design um, as much as I do love PlayStation. But it is their past history that I have with them. Why I continue to choose PlayStation. Um, they give me content. They bring me games that people want to see okay um they just bring everything to the table that i need as a content creator and a streamer um and i thank y'all for putting in such hard work for this release i know you pushed it back a couple times but you literally killed it on the gaming on the gaming trailers the releases that you ended up showing us the teaser trailers you know, you got Spider-Man, Miles Morales, uh, which is practically confirmed for Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man 2 for the PS5. Uh, you just, I know, I know in about a year's time, because why wouldn't you? You're probably going to release The Last of Us Part 2 remastered. Um, you did it with the first one. A year later, you came out with the remastered. You guys are smart about this. You guys are... Mm, you guys are smart about this. Um, <laughs> you got the Ratchet and Clank, which I'm super excited for. Uh, and it, it looks like a continuation. It doesn't look like it's the reboot at all. At all. It looks so good. Um, you guys just got to check out that list. Uh, it is wild. It is just wild. Um, I was I was tripping out half of the time because of all the stuff that they were uh, they were just showing us. Uh, Horizon until dawn. Uh, that's coming back. Uh, like I said, Ratchet and Clank. Uh, you had that. What is it? Was it Demon Slayer? If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure that was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You guys are just killing it, killing it. And uh, I was glad that I was able to uh, see some of that stuff. It was good stuff. Resident Evil 8. Um, you guys are you guys are on top of it. So, uh, yeah, that's the console that I'm going to be buying day one. I'm super excited for it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the console that you choose. Let me know down below which one you're going to end up getting and why. Uh, don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at Deltron underscore 210 and along with all my other social media down below. If you guys want to see any of my reviews on an article, go check it out at DropTheSpotlight.com. Just recently, I ended up dropping a review for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Rescue Palooza. It is a fan-made NES type arcade retro gaming game free to download uh you guys can go check it out at the link again just go check out drop the spotlight.com it should be on the first or second page but uh until then love y'all y'all be safe let me know what y'all think subscribe
subscribe.